So as we continue to look at this amazing diagram of the Enneagram, we can look at some other aspects of it too. Um, we're going to talk about wings and arrows. So wings are, are referencing the points that sit on either side of a type. So if we were to just look at our type 7. On one side of the type 7 we have a 6. And so a 6 wing can influence a 7. On the other side of a type 7 we have an 8. That means an 8 wing can influence a type 7. So the wings for a type 7 are a 7 with an 8 wing or a 7 with a 6 wing. And one generally is a stronger or easier wing to access. But the notion of growing yourself is really all about the ability to access both wings. When you start thinking about wings, just the term wings, and the aerodynamicness of a bird or a plane, they fly smoothly when they're using both wings. So if you can think of the metaphor of, of from your own type, once you identify your type, that it is your opportunity to develop both of your wings, you're going to have an easier flight in life when you can access the aspects of both wings. Uh, also, you'll see, again, looking at the seven, you'll see some lines. This line from a, se a seven goes to a one, and the line from a seven goes to a five on this diagram, and on all Enneagram diagrams, they don't, they don't differ. Um, and when we're looking at these lines, they're lines of, of movement that describe what happens perhaps in a resting state or a stressful state. Now you might think that when we say a resting state that's positive and a stressful state that's negative, but that's not true because a certain amount of stress is motivating. And so it's important to know that this type 7, when they're accessing type, parts of type 1 in movement, even if it was in a um, restful state or stressful state, they could, it could be making them or contributing to their health. It could also be contributing to for an opportunity to growth, for growth. It's not necessarily one or the other. There are wings, eight and six for a seven, and there are lines. Seven goes to one and a seven goes to five. The more you learn about each type, the more you'll realize how you can access and look at um, kind of leaning on or learning from both your wings and your arrows.